This is my first video for um, Mebwa, that's men exploited by wife abortion, Mebwa. And um, my name's John. Wife abortion affects all of us, and we are all the victims. We are all victims of wife abortion. My life changed dramatically immediately after my wife abortion, uh, which I had in 2024 in the aftermath of uh, World War III and the resulting glut of women in the world's population. So legalized wife abortion had been around for, for a year. Um, and I was a junior in college. Um, I was going to school, I was planning a career in medicine and my life was okay. I was just a regular old college student. I was planning on becoming a doctor and the, uh, the sudden news of, of, of Barbara's disability, it just seemed impossible to, to bear and to work into my, uh, my financial plans for college, uh, for medical school, and the ensuing uh, emotional needs. I, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. It was devastating. And so, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> when I... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. I don't, it's not funny. I'm not. When I went to, uh, excuse me, when I went to consider a wife abortion at the wife abortion clinic, I discussed with the clinic technician what my wife looked like at that time, and uh, she agreed with me that my wife was a blob. As I'm telling this story, anger and wisdom are, are winning within me, but although pain keeps spilling over, not only for myself, but also for the other men, the other men who haven't yet found the courage and the healing that I've found over the past 10 years since my wife's abortion. Um, I was lied to. I was lied to. And I was taken for, I was taken for a ride by the wife abortion clinic staff. They literally took me for a ride around the block in a clinic car because they thought that, um, you know, they wanted to keep me ignorant on the grounds that I would be upset as they, uh, as they aborted my wife, Barbara. Um, now, 10 years later, I feel like I was robbed. I was robbed of dignity, I was robbed of self-worth by the wife abortion clinic staff who lied to me and the counselor who prevented me from making an informed and intelligent decision about whether or not to abort Barbara. I was lied to. And despite my ignorance, uh, immediately after I, I had my wife abortion, I was emotionally devastated. Devastated. I, within two or three weeks, I dropped out of college. I uh, moved back in with my, my parents. I couldn't concentrate on anything. I got a job as a file clerk. And my dad, you know how fathers are. My father uh, quickly discerned what was taking place. Um, but so far, my mother and I have, have yet to, it's been ten, over 10 years, and we have yet to speak about uh, my wife, abortion, and mom. If you're watching this now, let me take this opportunity to say, to just break the ice and say, Mom, I have never considered, I have never considered aborting you. And if I had, even if I had, obviously it would require Dad's signature on the consent form. So you have nothing to worry about. 